And we're ready for round five. Well, I believe we're ready for round five. Let's see. Maybe we can breach them before they breach us, right? Here we go. D, D, did, did, so, so. We will take the play. I mean, Let's turn off stuff if we can. Okay, okay. That's a good point. That's probably a better way to have done it. So here, I want the fluster storm, but I kind of also want the soul ring for the following turn. We're not guaranteed to get it, but what I'm saying is if we take fluster storm here, then on the next turn, we can put out a soul ring and then have hull breacher available to us with extra mana. So I'm going to go like this top. Top, land, pass. That feels like a weird brainstorm. Well, here's the thing, though, is I would rather have potential protection if I need it, whereas next turn I draw that soul ring, I can still play it. Because if I cracked it, I would lose the I would lose fluster storm to play out the to play out the soul ring. I would lose the fluster storm and I didn't I don't necessarily want to lose fluster storm. They gave up Narsa to do that.
So here's the thing is, do you let them untap knowing that what they have didn't kill, or do I wait to try to catch them? I also could play out Dak Fade in here and steal their mocks. And that gets me closer to Hull Breacher in to Twister. I feel like we know they didn't have a variety of counter spells because they didn't play it. Yeah, I think I just want to steal this because that keeps them even further away from whatever they were doing. Plus, that lets me be proactive with Hull Breacher the following turn. This should put them enough down on resources, hopefully. Okay, I was like, just don't be thought sees. So now here's my thought. I could put Ancestral Recall on top, but I don't need to. We could just save that. Time twister, please. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You didn't get to play any cards. All right. So We know they have Assassin's Trophy. I mean, I kind of want... <sighs> Do I want the extra lightning bolts? Or really... So if I had, if I brought in the extra lightning bolts to deal with Deathrite Shaman, Leovold, like little crap like that as well. I don't know. Force Negation feels, Force Negation is feeling underwhelming. I don't know if it truly is or if I'm just, am I just not giving it enough credit? I don't want to take the negation. Merchant scroll and the mystical tutor. That, like, that's my first impression is force negation, merchant scroll, mystical tutor. It doesn't make any of those correct, but that's just my first impression of what, what I'm not liking overall. I mean, is one Mana Gorge or Hydra enough? Dak Faden is not as powerful here as it might be otherwise. We could keep the Mystical Tutor and cut a Dak, and then Mystical Tutor could get us a variety of stuff. I mean, Dak does work with Hull Breacher. I 
I mean... It's greedy, but spoilers, so am I. You're playing Canister, good luck to you. So do you like how I cracked this for red so I had the Pyroblast? They're pitching Mind Break Trap. That just, that's delightful. Thank you for pitching Mind Break Trap. Uh, brainstorm can resolve. Put two cards back on top of your library, please. So do we twist her? Do we just tinker here? I feel like this could go a couple different ways. Yeah, max value. Just uh, go to the concede button. What is this kind of perfect hand? I mean, seriously. Yes, that's what it was. It was the perfect hand. I'm, I am sorry you chose to play Bug. 